Appeals Court Upholds Injunction Blocking Trump's Travel Ban. A Richmond, Virginia-based federal appeals court on Thursday refused to reinstate President Trump's ban on nationals from six majority Muslim countries from entering the U.S., delivering a major blow to the Trump administration. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals said in a 10-3 ruling that Trump's executive order speaks with vague words of national security, but in context drips with religious intolerance, animus, and discrimination. Well, I'm just looking at it right now. It's just been issued, Craig. This is from the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Pardon me while I'm not looking right at you because I'm, I'm looking at the opinion here. This is one of the two court cases that are now in the appeals courts, that both of which in, involve uh, decisions by judges that upheld bans on enforcing uh, the president's revised executive order on travel from six mostly Muslim countries. And the question here uh, is, this one was the Fourth Circuit one based on a, a ruling from a judge in, in Maryland. And uh, the bottom line here is that the appeals court is upholding the decision by the judge in that case, uh, limiting it just slightly, but basically enforcing the ban on issuing, uh, the, the restriction on issuing visas to visitors from those countries, Craig. So, we're waiting now from the decision from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, but let's think this through for a second. This appeals court is substantially upholding the ban on enforcing the executive order, even if the Ninth Circuit, which heard arguments in this case last week, goes the other way, one of the nationwide bans would still be in place. Both the appeals courts would have had to rule that the bans on enforcement were improper in order for the government to begin enforcing the executive order, so it appears that's not going to happen it appears growingly likely that the resolution of this case is going to be in the Supreme Court and that the term of that court is uh, going to end in the, at the end of June so it it would seem that unless the government succeeds in getting an emergency uh, a ruling to from the uh, or an emergency agreement from the Supreme Court to hear this case before its term ends at the end of June um, it's going to be the fall before this gets argued before the Supreme Court so uh, it, it, what, it, what it means is we now know that the government was not going to be able to enforce this executive order for many more months, Craig. Isn't that terrible? Isn't that terrible? Let's send these uh, immigrants, let's send them to the judges' homes. That, uh, that's what I would say. Let, let them take them in. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.